Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora alone. That's right, bringing this deck back. This is probably the most popular deck that I play and for good reason. It's a lot of fun and it's kind of meme how we only have three units, just our three Fioras and everything else are spells. But it's also still pretty strong, you know, like it's it's not like the best deck because of that. So it's not the most consistent and you're not going to win every game, but it's pretty strong and it's it's uh it's fun to play just protect the queen with fiora we also do t kind of it's kind of like we have six fioras because we have the three entreats as well um so yeah it's kind of like we have six units but um yeah just a whole bunch of spells fioras nothing's really changed about the deck we're gonna keep playing it here we go we're gonna go over to ranked play five games and to see how it works out let's go have some fun and then we got a donation deck after this of a Teemo Swain Control, which is similar to Ezreal Swain, but we're playing Teemo. Okay, good mulligans. We want Fiora. Fiora. No Fiora. We need Fiora or Entreat. Um, <clears throat> not the best to mulligan into eight mana spells. Not the best there. And we're playing against Will of Ionia. This deck that my opponent's playing does play Will of Ionia. That is the worst card in the format for us to play against. So, not looking great so far. We need to find Entreat or Fiora. It's possible my opponent is just disconnected and we get a free win. That could happen. Man, they really give you a whole lot of time to do something. Look at how slow that thing's going. Get like 30 seconds. Or a minute. I don't know. Probably like 30 seconds. Look at how slow that's going. There's Fiora. Alright, that's faster the second time. Yeah, we're playing Fiora all in. Oh, I'm sorry, Link Eyes. Yeah, it's a good deck. That one will be up on YouTube in nine hours. That's when I'll be up on YouTube. Okay, so they are here. Could use the tough thing. Hmm. I don't really want to keep. I don't really want them to draw two cards. Maybe I let them draw two cards. No. Basically need to keep them from drawing. Dang. Need to keep them from drawing Will of Ionia. But they also have the, the death mark combo. They can give something ephemeral. That's also a problem. They got some problematic cards over there. Probably a bad matchup for us. Probably. If I cast Flash Freeze on this, we'll have two extra mana. Next turn we get five. Five plus two is seven. Not enough for Unyielding Spirit. I 
Having a damaged Fiora is good for our take hearts. That's one plus of having a Fiora with damage on it. Just thinking that with like the Cursed Keeper the previous turn as well. Waticus! Getting the resub 22 awesome months. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat for our resub. Thank you, Waticus. Man, I want to play on Yielding Spirit. I remember back in the day when this was burst speed. It's just so risky playing it now. Yeah, and it's even more risky with the one health. Definitely could be a win. I'm gonna go for the win. Judgment Fiora. And then they just die. Right, because it already has one kill and it'll kill these three. And then I got some protection. No! Well, I tried going for the win. I thought that was a good play. Like, Deny was, like, kind of the only thing. Because, like, Vile Feast, you know, that kind of stuff didn't really matter. Because we had, um, you know, we had protection for that. So, Deny was kind of... I mean, Will of Ionia, obviously. They could have Deny or Will of Ionia. Like, they had, they had some options, but... I think that was a good play. Yeah, they needed one of those two Ionia cards. With how I've been talking about how this is probably a bad matchup, that's probably a good time to go for the win in a bad matchup. I'm gonna let this do one damage so we can have take heart. We tried. Just not attacking with Thresh. Gonna have Thresh level up, huh? Planning on having Thresh level up. Sharp blade, sharp mind. Hmm, seven mana.
they don't have any Will of Ionia, we can still win this. If they don't have Will of Ionia. Or, like, another Thrash, right? Like, basically, the plan right now is have... Like, if they have another Will of Ionia, obviously, we're, we're not going to win. Like, the game's over, but... If they don't... We can challenge the Thrash to keep them from... Keep them from challenging and pulling the Fiora to the side, and then we'll be able to block the first thing. Or maybe draw a removal spell. Removal spells is what I really wanted to draw, you know, whether it's Judgment, Single Combat, or Concerted Strike. Yeah, I mean, this is this is basically, do they have another Thresh or Will of Ionia or not? That's what this game is. Oh, well, that also helps them. So I need I need removal spell. I have to draw. Or more frostbite. No, more more frostbite's probably not. Yeah, I guess more frostbite would keep it keep me alive a little bit. Oh, and they have thrash. So now, I think Judgment's my only out. I need Judgment. I guess I could go to one potentially if they go straight to attacks. Why not Steel Thresh? Or brittle Steel? Oh. Uh, no. I guess I could have. Save three life. And opponent's playing slowly. This game, you know, took about 13 minutes, and I feel like I did stuff for like three minutes of the 13 <laughs> with all the problems. We will regain what we have lost. Well, we came close. They ended up having the spells they needed. Um, you know, they needed a Deny or a Will of Ionia, and they had Deny. And then they needed another Challenger, and they had that plus an Atrocity. So, GG's. Alright, good. Not, not a Will of Ionia deck. That makes life better. Keep this Fiora. Alright, Fiora standalone. So our deck, Fiora alone. Uh yeah, this is this is a meme deck, but it's it's good. It's a deck that I've played in in ranked and stuff a good amount. Like we we went uh we got seven win like I think the last time we played this deck was with the the gauntlet, like the regular gauntlet, so a couple weekends ago. And we went 7-1. We got seven wins in the gauntlet with this deck. Let me show you what I can it's a good deck. But yeah, it is pretty meme-y as well. They would fall by my blade. When you're playing this deck, your life is certainly better when you're not playing against Ionia as a region. Basically just Fiora. 
Calling strike. Well. Once you do have Fiora, I mean that's that's obviously my bad. I mean I that's that's just my bad, just forgetting about Calling Strike and not playing around it. I could have I didn't have to play Fiora that turn. I could have certainly waited. So I mean that's that's my fault. Once you do have Fiora, um other good cards to have are like the uh like the one mana spells are pretty good, like the tough uh chain vest. Like it's really nice having a chain vest a lot of the times. Um there's a lot of times where it's nice having um fight spell like a single combat I love taste of the action. yeah I mean this this is my fault just forgetting about I was thinking they weren't gonna kill weren't gonna be able to kill Fiora but obviously they could and and they could have had an auction fervor too like that was just an auction fervor and calling strike that was me just kind of talking and just not paying attention yep that was bad. Um. I'll let that happen. We'll go down to eight. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Maybe I should have flash freeze. Not and ready. So basically, I, I cast the standalone there because I just need to use mana, right? Like we need, like we have a, we have, um, we do have a bottleneck of mana that we need to get out of our hands. And so, yeah, I played into that. But at, at that point of the game, I'd, I'd, I would do that exact same thing again at that point of the game because of how we're behind and how we had so much mana in our hand. I don't regret that part at all. I obviously regret the playing the Fiora on turn three. That was the, that was the big mistake I did. Okay, well, this deck's going to be more aggressive, which is both good and bad. Good part, it's going to be harder for them to kill Fiora, probably, you know, with not having culling strikes, stuff like that. Bad part, um, we die a lot faster, and that's not good. Um, I do have to worry about Noxion Fervor. Probably can't play Fiora because an auction fervor, can I? But I wanted to use the two mana. I didn't want to waste the two mana. For the Empire. Make the Empire proud. They would fall by my blade. Hmm. Transfusion's a problem. So doing that because of transfusion. Oh, I can't wait. Hmm. If I let the Fiora take the damage, it'll help out my take heart. The main problem is that they do have, like, Noxion for like, this block means I'm pretty weak to Noxion Fervor, right? So I guess I... No, because I just have take heart. I just have standalone, so we're not not that weak to. 
for her. Ain't that furious. And might go to and strike. All right, seems like a good time for the repost. Not take the five damage. Could have been game if they would have just randomly had like a blade's edge to take down my barrier. Well, it's not necessarily game, but close. Remember the objectives. Hmm. Nothing to hold me back. Single combat that or nah. They haven't really shown that they have Noxion Fervor this whole time. Wait, what? Was that the fourth kill? They will no match. I thought for some reason I was getting the third kill. I guess that was the fourth one. Yeah, I guess that was kill number... Oh, right, right, right. Because, the, yeah, the repost one was kill number three. So the Crimson Disciple was kill number two. The first... Okay, because there's two Crimson Dis Disciples. So, yeah, we killed the, both Crimson Disciples. That was kill one and two. And then Demolitionist. And then Draven. Yeah, here's the deck code. Right there. Callista Elise. Well, no champion. Well, again. You're getting there, Colby. You're almost there. Uh, bipolar. I mean, I guess. Go ahead. I mean, you. I. I don't know. What What do you want? Like, what do you What do you want? Fiora? No. No entreat, no Fiora. Hmm. In other Rosa's name. Keep that thing a 1 1, I suppose. Good 
Could be a big waste. They could have, you know, they who enter, but I'm, I'll worry about that later. Alright, that's the first time I've played the deck and it's just done that. There's a, a 12... Uh, according to somebody that said this math earlier, I don't know if the math's that correct, but supposedly there's about a 12.5% chance somewhere around there that, you know, somewhere around like a 12% chance that you just don't find Fiora like that. That you don't draw Fiora or Entreat. By turn 3, that is. I don't know what it is by turn five or whatever we were on. Karma Lux. The Ionia deck. These games have just been going super, super fast. Well, I'll probably just play more than four. Like these, like these just aren't even games. Okay, yeah, bipolar Lux Swain. Okay, cool. I like Lux Swain. Do you have a do you have a day that you, a specific day you'd like me to play it bipolar in? Well, our worst card in this deck, in this matchup, is Flash Freeze. Our second worst card is probably Brittle Steel. Uh, yeah, those are the two worst cards that we have. It's not even going to count this. Okay. Alright, well, we'll probably be playing it tomorrow. We got a Shen Vi deck and a Lux Swain deck for tomorrow. Cool, cool. Those sound like good combinations. <clears throat> and this time we drew four chan four four of the six Fioras we saw. So glad that we have the attack token turn three, so that Teemo's only attacking once. So I guess I have to challenge. I guess it's better to challenge Boom Crew Rookie than to challenge Teemo, as far as damage goes against the burn deck. Triple chain vest. This is just kind of ridiculous. This is what we call bad variants. How bad our hand is. Like when you have one chain vest, chain vest is a really important card. It's a it's a really good card, but when you have one, the others don't do anything. Doesn't matter if you have triple tough. Oh my gosh. War Mason, reporting for this is unbelievable. Triple tough, triple entreat. Yeah, I mean. Everything's in place. I guess that's how variants go sometimes. Sharp blade, sharp mind.
Well, we're almost back to the beginning of diamonds. We can't lose... We can't lose LP very much longer. That's the good news. That's the good news. Great, same deck. Made a Bromfior deck? Sure, yeah. Um, I'm sure somebody in chat can help. What's up? It's Aloha Friday. Bringing Aloha to your stream. Well, thank you so much. Could use that. Stop drawing and treat. I want one mana spells. That's as far as ways you can get from one mana spell. Four mana spells are expensive. Oh, I can't wait. That's good. And then probably the fight spells. For the empire. For the glory yeah, I mean, we just this. just saw this this match play out. You know how this goes. Precision and grace. I block, I'm block. i block here, not block Boom Crew Rookie, because this is doing two and this is doing one, and I, I'm about to just challenge the Boom Crew Rookie. Anyway. So my best chance is them not having enough direct damage to kill me and me using a judgment to kill them. That's about the only chance I have, unfortunately, because of how much damage Imperial Demolitionist and Crimson Disciple and the gang do. Looks like that's not going to be the option. Make the Empire proud. All right, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Rough few days of us for, for us winning, but yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, that was rough. Burn, I mean, burn super fast, like, right? Like, we're, we're like a slower deck. Um, you know, trying to get four kills with Fiora, that's really hard to do against burn and just burn spells. So, you know, GG's. Uh, my... My best chance with that would have been having single combat to help fight in response to the Imperial Demolitionists. Uh, didn't have that, but... 
All right, there we go. That was Fiora alone. That was our, this is our first time playing the deck where we did not have a lot of success. So you know, like this is a real high variance deck, and so it's got to it's got to happen at one point of us not having um, success with the deck. So finally, uh, finally happened. Um, Surprised the Crimson package hasn't been nerfed yet. It something's gonna get nerfed with that. Most likely that Crimson package in the next balance patch. They did they did announce when they when they had the balance patch one five. They said that in balance patch one six at the end of the month, um, which which I'm not sure. It's either coming out the twenty third or the thirtieth. One of those two. Um, and I I think I I honestly think it's the twenty third because it should line up with this lab. So it should be in eleven days. Um, that should be the next patch, but whenever that they said they did say that whenever that comes out that the the cheap Noxus units doing the direct damage to the Nexus that's going to be nerfed and also Heimerdinger is going to be nerfed um, But for now Those things are really good Okay uh... Yeah, so there we go. All right, so that's Fiora alone. Um, yeah, meta-wise, usually, so that that deck that we played against that was the the Callista Elise deck, usually that's a great matchup for us. That's usually our like our very best matchup when we played against that deck and we didn't draw Fiora whatsoever, so you know like we didn't get to play. But that's usually like that's usually the best matchup, and so that deck like that They Who Endure deck was really popular for a little bit and made this deck really good because it's that this just kind of hard counters that deck of. They have a whole bunch of small things they want to die, and, and our deck is all about um, being able to kill lots of small units. Um, so that should have been an easy win for us, but obviously we didn't draw Fiora, so you can't win if you don't draw Fiora. Um, but. All right, anyway, that's Fiora alone. Uh, those of y'all watched it on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I know I, I didn't really do much of anything. I'm sorry about that, but hope you still learn stuff and still had a good time. And I thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next video.